And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cheap Ludes in his home relaxing coat. I found this at a Goodwill, and it's like polar bears, and somebody made it by hand. Probably an old grandma if I had to uh, take a guess, and it is my favorite coat ever. Anyways, that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about today, which is the point guard position in NBA 2K22, my team. It's been a little while since I've done a tier list. I just haven't had time to do them, so... I'm hoping to get the tier list series done in like a manageable amount of time this time, preferably prior to season six, but we'll, we'll see. not going to make any promises here. Today, we're going to be ranking all of the point guards in NBA 2K22, my team from best to worst in a series of tiers, a tier list as it was. S tier, unquestionable best cards in the game. A tier, fairly good cards, just not quite S tier material. B tier, eh, you know, most of the community are going to use guys in B tier, but there are going to be some guys in B tier that you think should be in A tier and vice versa. And I'll try my best to explain both of those things. Um, I try to rank between gens and across multiple play styles. I don't try to just rank on my play style, which my play style is trash. Uh, C tier. Very acceptable cards, but for the most part, you know, they're not quite as good as B tier. Or maybe there's a few things wrong with them. They do do a few things well, though. It is what it is. D tier, super specialist guys. Maybe they do one or two things well, but that's about it. This is where you're going to find a lot of your outdated cards that used to be elite at one time that are no longer really elite. F tier. I mean, they're not trash, but they're they're real close. And trash tier. They're trash. What more do I really need to say? Let's get started. Ben Simmons. He's actually a very tough card to rank realistically because it does take a particular play style uh, in order to really realistically use. All right. First up, we got Ben Simmons. He is a tough card to rank for sure. It's a particular play style that would use a Ben Simmons uh, for sure. I mean, it's a 6'10 shooting guard or not shooting guard, point guard that I mean, can't shoot the three pointer, but I would still put him in B tier. Like, massive size, great defensive ability. I mean, like I said, it's going to take a very specific player to use him at his maximum level, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve to be in B tier. I think I would be doing him a disservice if I put him in C tier, personally. Chauncey Billups. Now, this is the all-star Chauncey Billups, not the uh, metamorphosis Chauncey Billups that I'll be talking about later. This one's not very good. His jump shot is pretty terrible. I'd put him in D tier. I like Chauncey, but yeah, his jump shot is heinous, dude. Tony Kukoc, B. I would say he's B tier. Movement-wise, not the greatest. Um, I personally don't love the Brick Lopez base on him. I wish he had Ray Allen base personally, like he typically did last year. But Kukoc is still good. I mean, he's six foot ten. He moves decently. Um, I would say Ben Simmons movement-wise is much better, but Tony Kukoc brings you that shooting touch. So I would say tier-wise, they should be on the same tier. It's just two different play styles. You know what I mean? Craig Hodges. I mean, he's not quite as bad as everyone said he was during these challenges, but he's not very good. Jamal Murray. C. Uh, it'd be cool to get in a, like a new Jamal Murray card that's like usable, but he has been out, so I, I get it. I hate Patrick Beverly, dude. I really do. He's probably not F tier, like all things considered, but I just dislike him so much. I'm going to put him in F tier. Big Russ. This is an alter ego card. I mean, he came out on Halloween, so F. Uh, no, not even F tier, trash tier. 100%, no question. Uh, New Year's Resolution Russ is actually pretty good. I'd put him in C tier. You know, he does bring you that ability to shoot and stuff like that, which I think does make him a lot better. So I'd put him in C tier for that. Big Chauncey. Woo! Chauncey is fantastic. Chauncey is absolutely fantastic. This card is so much fun to use. Base 98, which I stand firm on my thought that Base 98 has been overrated for the past two years, but that doesn't mean it's not a good release. So relax, Sweat Lords. All right. Chauncey Billups is really, really good. He moves incredibly well, like that Base 98 on very quick. Chef's Kiss. Fantastic. It's super tight to have a really cool Chauncey Billups card. Like the last time I remember using Chauncey Billups in like a, a way that wasn't detrimental to my team was in season one of 2k21 when he came out and he was actually like a top tier point guard for like two weeks that was pretty cool big luca no surprise here s tier i mean he's 
pretty good on current gen, absolutely overpowered on next gen, and S tier only makes sense. Steve Kerr, F. Uh, you know what? I would say if for because for whatever reason, if you Evo him, he gets his <laughs> terrible set shot four back for some reason. Um, they may have changed it. I'm not sure. I haven't used this card for any reason, but I would say he's F tier. That being said, if I'm incorrect and he does have jump shot four instead of set shot four, I mean, he's D tier, but I'm just going to keep him in F for now. Alex Caruso, outdated, but he's still pretty good. Like, I would say very, very low C tier for him. Andre Miller, he's slightly better than Russ, <laughs> for sure. I could say that. Arvidas Sabonis, on next gen, he's so overpowered. On current gen, he's not the greatest, but I mean, he is a seven foot point guard that could stroke the three ball at a high clip. Like, Movement wise, he's not very good, but I mean, at this point, like he is stupid. I would put him at B tier. Baron Davis, B, probably going to end up low B tier, possibly even in C tier, but the card got a lot of flack when he came out, but he's actually not bad at all. Like he's very, very average, very solid. Bill Sharman, shout out to Bill Sharman. He's 95 years old in the game, so he has like the worst stamina ever. Uh, he's not that terrible, though. He's like, okay. I mean, I would put him like higher C tier. 6'1", too. He's a little bit small. You know he smokes cigarettes, which is pretty cool. Any athlete who smoked like a pack of cigarettes a day and still hooped at a high level, I think, does deserve respect. because That's very difficult. As a former smoker myself who used to go play pickup basketball and get winded after like two trips down the court, that's pretty impressive. Bob Cousy. He's like uh, eh, D tier. He's like worse Chris Paul. Bob Sura, this one hurts. I love Bob Sura, but his time is kind of past. He's like upper C tier. We need a new Bob Sura. A Dark Matter Bob Sura would be fantastic. I would do anything for that card. Uh, ranked only behind a Pink Diamond or Above shooting Greg Ostertag in my list of cards that I would like this year. Uh, signature Brandon Jennings, uh, F. They gave him Trey Murphy <laughs> a sig, so he can't dribble and his jump shot's pretty slow which is like not good on a 6-1 point guard. So I would put him in F tier. That hurts though. Cade, Cade is without a doubt still the best point guard on current gen overall for like every play style and stuff like that. For that reason, I would definitely put him in S tier. I do think Luke is a little bit better because Luke is significantly better on next gen. And I would say on current gen, they're not too far apart. So for that reason, Luke is better still. But Cade still, you know. Campaign. D. He's all right. He's kind of fun against CPU, I guess. Like, whatever. Chris Paul. Like, I can't put him below Bob Cousy. I prefer Bob Cousy just because refer back to my diatribe about Bill Sharman. But Chris Paul, uh, he's small, but he's still decent. So, like, C tier. Yeah. Can't put him that far behind Bill Sharman, if at all, realistically. I think Bill Sharman's a little bit better. Kobe White. I actually like this Kobe White a lot. I don't think he's necessarily B tier, but he's pretty good. This Kobe White's just kind of outdated. I would throw him in like F. He doesn't play any defense, but he's a fun enough offensive card. Cole Anthony, like lower D tier. He's a good offensive card. That's about it. Corey Joseph. I actually like Corey Joseph a lot. I'm going to put him in C tier. I know that's, that's strange, but uh, yeah. Damian Lillard. All right, so I would rank the dames like this. I think this dame is actually really slept on. I think people really didn't give this card a chance, but he's a really, really good offensive player. I would say if you're going to grab like a smaller point guard, um, you would want to grab Chauncey Billis because he's literally dame times a million. Like, you know what I mean? He's got that Scotty Pippen behind the back in base 98. So he is better than dame, but like dame is a very good offensive small point guard. Darius Garland. As much as I like the Darius Garlands, I would put him in C tier. Like I would use Dame or Chauncey over them for sure. Baron Davis is tough. Like I might have to drop Baron Davis, even though I like Baron Davis a lot. Darren Collison, he's he's all right. D. Lenny Wilkins, this is my boy, but D tier probably makes sense for him. I really like Lenny Wilkins, so like he was a really fun card to use. Dave Bing, this card is actually pretty good. Like Dave Bing, when they changed his jump shot to jump shot four. I would say he's C tier. I mean, you shouldn't exchange for him at this point. He's definitely outdated, but like low C tier makes sense. Gus Williams. Gus Williams is kind of fire. I would probably rank the C tier guys as such. Right? Throw Bill Sharman out there. Yeah, this is probably what I would rank them as. Yeah. 
Uh, Gus Williams is actually pretty good. He got a lot of flag too. I'm probably going to drop Baron Davis as much as I like Baron Davis. I think C tier is more appropriate for him. Chris Dunn. Okay. Shocker. Chris Dunn is like better Marcus Smart. I would put him in like C tier. He's actually really good. Jalen Brunson. <laughs> D. I can't believe this was a moment's drop at one point. Like I, I'm pretty sure Jalen Brunson was the only card that dropped in that moment's drop, if I'm not mistaken, which is hysterical, honestly. Uh, here's another Dave Bing. They're basically the same. This one's worse, but yeah, I mean, I put them in C tier as well. Next to like Corey Joseph and Caruso. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop Russ because I think I would rather use these three guys than Russ. I just don't personally like Russ. Davion Mitchell, top of D tier. He's not good enough to be C tier, but he does have a lot of uses in regards to being an overpowered Sapphire. So I would put him in D tier. Like, especially if you're playing triple threat offline or like something that involves like matchmaking of some kind or even limited. Like, it's really, really nice to have like that overpowered Sapphire point guard. Signature series, Steph. Yeah, he's still like low or C tier, I would say. De'Aaron Fox. B. He's good. I mean, not a lot of people ran this card. I don't think I've ever actually seen this card in the wild, but he's like, you know, mid to low B tier, I would say. This deer and Fox is just a bit outdated, so I put him in D tier. He came out in season two, so, you know, nothing wrong with the card. The card was fire when he came out, but not much I could say there. DeJounte Murray. Murray's really good. Higher B tier. He requires some shooting badges in order to really get to an elite level, but DeJounte has been, uh, this is probably the best he's been in a 2K has been this year. He's been really good. This one I'll put next to Caruso. DeMar DeRozan. I like DeMar DeRozan a lot, and I will say this. If he could equip Chef, he would be lower A tier. Like, but he can't equip Chef, and that really hurts the card. Everything else is good. Uh, he doesn't come with limited, or limited, limitless range either, but you can give it to him. But he doesn't come with limitless or Chef, and you can't give him Chef. And if you could give him Chef with his dribble style and everything else about the card, easily he'd be low A tier. But because of that, I'm going to put him in here demar's still really good though also his defensive stats are really bad dunked over schroeder yeah trash this dennis schroeder i mean f like i just don't like dennis schroeder Derek fisher's kind of nice though i put him in like d tier <laughs> kind of nice ends up in d tier Derek harper is kind of good he's all right he plays decent defense he attacks the rim he's actually not too bad this one's going to be a hot take, but I actually think Darren Williams is low B tier. This card got slept on super hard, but I really think it's it's a good card. It's the release. I think that Doll Shays release really suits him, and it's just really good. He's a little bit small. Like I said, I would run and grab Chauncey instead of running Darren Williams, but at the same time, he deserves to be here. I would use him over Dame, personally. Kyle Lowry, the thick man himself. Uh... See, he's all right. If you got him from the uh, Ascension board, I mean, he's decent, but I, I wouldn't say he's like top tier. Uh, Dinwiddie, his release is super slow, and this one's just outdated, so I would put him in like D tier. This Dinwiddie's really good. I'm actually considering putting him in B tier because I actually like this card a lot. I think if his jump shot was on quick timing, he would easily be B tier, but he's got normal jump shot timing, which kind of sucks. Um, I put him top of C tier. I think he's the best point guard in C tier right now. Beast, John Morant, uh, B. Derek Rose, uh, D tier. He's just outdated, but he's probably like the top of D tier. I'm going to move Harper up. I actually really like Harper. He doesn't have defensive badges, or not defensive badges, shooting badges, but I, I really like him. This D Rose, D tier as well. Um, nah, yeah, he's not that much different than this one. Once again, another hot take. I think this Derrick Rose is low B tier. He's still one of the best movement-wise point guards in the game. Um, granted, people don't really run him anymore, which I understand, but I still think he deserves to be in B tier. Reggie Jackson, I would put him in D tier. He's pretty annoying, and I don't really like this card very much, but once again, he's another kind of overpowered Sapphire, so I think he deserves D tier for that. Devin Harris d tier it'd be cool to see another devin harris card before he gets completely outclassed with like point guard thon makers you know what i mean pistol pete shout out to pistol pete uh this card's just outdated like a lot of the primetime guys are gonna go in d tier Devonte graham i actually think he's good enough to be d tier that card was really fun when he came out big staff 
Uh, yeah, I would say big. Steph is still B tier, um, especially due to next gen. Like he has that Steph leaner. Like people who are good with Steph are going to be good with Steph regardless. You know what I mean? So I think B tier makes sense. Devonte Graham. This one I think is C tier. I actually really like this card. Rondo F at this point. It's just like mad cards can play defense at this point. So having a defensive only point guard that really can just attack the rim and play defense. Uh, is not really it at this point. Earl Boykins. No way my boy goes in trash. Absolutely not. Earl Boykins, F tier. <laughs> I, can't, I can't put him any higher because, you know, this is a video game and running a five foot five point guard is not exactly going to like benefit you, but can't can't do my boy like that. All right. Controversial one again. Earl Monroe, B tier. I do legitimately believe that Earl Monroe is better than every point guard in C tier. If you disagree with that and you think one of these guys is better than Earl Monroe, either well i'm not going to sit here and tell you you're wrong i don't typically do that i think that's kind of rude um i don't necessarily think you're incorrect i just think you need to try earl monroe again and then tell me that one of these guys is better then i'll be like okay that's personal preference it's fine but a lot of people just haven't used earl monroe and he's like really good eric bledsoe he's a very good ruby point guard and for that reason i would put him in c tier oscar robertson f yeah he's pretty bad uh, power within Steph. I actually think he's A tier uh, because he's incredibly good on next gen. Um, he's one of the best offensive point guards in this game. Uh, I don't think there's many people who can debate that. And he's actually pretty solid defensively like he is uh, just because it's like a power within Steph card. I don't know if I would use him over like DeMar DeRozan or DeJounte Murray, but that's just a play style thing on my end. If you're a three point hunter, I still think Stephen Curry is an A tier card. Maybe I'll move him down, but we'll see. Eric Snow, D. I didn't get the Eric Snow hype when he came out, and I still don't get it. My boy Facundo, yeah, D tier. He's all right. <laughs> Downtown Fred Brown, F. He's just outdated. He came out day one. Limited edition Russ. I mean, yeah, like D somewhere. He's worse than this one. Fred Van Vliet, this kind of hurts, but, you know, he came out in season one. So this Fred, uh low c tier he's actually pretty usable but i did have a lot of issues running him online that was not a fun time whatsoever he's better than russ so i'll put him like low c tier like stats and badges wise he's there i just for some reason i couldn't run him dude i don't know what it is kirk heinrich oh yeah this is how you know i'm not biased because i would have put kirk heinrich like at the top of c tier i actually think he's better than bill Sharman though like kirk heinrich's nice Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is decent, like C tier. He's okay, uh, I would say. Allen Iverson. Oh, this hurts, but C tier you go. Gabe Vincent. D. Gary the Glove Payton. I would say Gary Payton's still like top of B tier. He's still very, very good defensively, and he's pretty decent offensively. Um, I would actually run Chauncey over him, though, personally. But I think he deserves to be right after Chauncey. Chauncey's so good, dude. Uh, Pink Diamond, Gary Payton. He's outdated, but C tier. Diamond one would go right here as well. Tony Parker, as much as I like Tony Parker, I'd probably put him like C tier. This is not incredibly good. No Chill Gill. This card's pretty not tight, but I'd put him in D tier. Uh, Dark Matter Russ. Eh, B. Yeah, he's still B. He, I really haven't seen anybody run this card either ever, to be honest. Walt Frazier, hot hot take. I think Walt Frazier is B tier. Walt Frazier is really good, and I've never seen anybody run Walt Frazier, but I swear he's good. I, I promise. Look, the point of this tier list is to maybe introduce you guys to maybe some cards that you wouldn't have thought to run that might actually be better than you expected. Guys like Walt Frazier and Earl Monroe, you might think they're ass because they're cheap, but they're actually pretty good. You know what I mean? Sleepy Floyd, uh, I like Sleepy Floyd a lot, but he's just like outdated, so I'd put him like over here. Came out season one, same with Darren Williams, as much as I like him. Gilbert Arenas, yeah, I mean, he's all right. His jump shot, I personally like it. Some people are going to hate it, but I would put him over here by like Jamal Murray. No, I'd put him by like Tony Parker and Kobe White. I actually don't think he's that bad. Steve Nash, same thing. I actually like Steve Nash. I, once again, I've never seen anybody run this card. Isaiah Thomas, he's super outdated, but I'm going to give him a nod in C tier just for how ahead of his time he was. This card was so stupid when he came out. It's one of those cards I just don't know 
kind of like glitch Duncan last year and glitch Stockton. Like, I don't think we all realized collectively. No, I take that back. Stockton, everyone realized how good it was. Um, I would say this card's like glitch Duncan or glitch go bear from last year. Like people didn't realize how good this card was until like way, way later. You know what I mean? Jalen Rose, hot take time. I actually think this card is a tier. Yeah, he's got normal jump shot timing, but I actually think his jump shot's good. And in the right hands on current gen, he's still a top five point guard. Uh, I do believe that truly in my mind. I might drop Jalen Rose. We'll see. I think he deserves to be up there, but I don't think people are going to agree. Rod Strickland. I mean, this card wasn't that bad, but like D. Jalen Suggs, I would say is still good. Still another quote unquote overpowered Sapphire. Though I'd probably run Tim Legler over him. Shout out to Tim Legler. Tim Hardaway. All right, dude, I'm going to put him in D tier. And it's disrespectful to do that. But this card pissed me off so much. And I don't know why. <laughs> he was so infuriating to use. Big Jaw. A. Jaw's really good. He is. He's really good. Um, He's like the antithesis of like, am I saying that right? Doesn't matter. Russell Westbrook, De'Aaron Fox. Like, you know what I mean? Those running gun point guards that are a little bit small. He is the best of all this. Like, in my opinion. Uh, Pink Diamond, John Morant. I mean, he's he came out, what, season two? Yeah, he's just outdated. Jason Kidd. He's still a lockdown defender. I can't say. Well, Gary, he's worse than Gary Payton. I can say that. So let's just throw my man over here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, objectively speaking, Jason Kidd's are probably a couple of the best cards in D tier. Uh, NBA 75 stuff. I mean, they're basically the same card. Jason Terry. This is another one of those cards like IT that I think were significantly better than we gave them credit for at the time. I just ran Jason Terry in a draft mode run that I'm having right now, and he still plays really well. Jason White Chocolate Williams, uh, you can't go in trash tier, so F, I guess. Probably the worst card in F, objectively. This one hurts my soul, but Jeremy Lin is C tier. I still like Jeremy Lin, but yeah. Jerry West, shout out to Jerry West, C tier. I don't know what it is, but I've used John Stockton cards really every year that 2K has come out with a My Team mode. In some capacity, I've used a John Stockton card, right? Just at some point. Um, typically, either he's cheap or he's really good. It just kind of depends, right? This John Stockton card, I don't know what it is. Feels like the worst John Stockton card I've ever used. And I don't know if it's due to the challenges we had to do with him or what. But he just feels sluggish and he feels horrible and I hate him so much. But he's still objectively too good to be an F tier. Like, if I'm being completely honest here, I'm going to put him in D for that reason. Brandon Jennings is the best card in C tier. He's just better glitch Trey. Um, I'm contemplating legitimately putting him in B tier because this card's really good. John Wall. Oh, John Wall gets B tier 100%. This John Wall card is insanity. Like, he's so good. This John Wall, I like this card a lot, but he's outdated, so I'd put him in C tier. Bongo. People are going to be upset about this one because there's inevitably going to be a guy in the comments that thinks Bongo should be, like, B tier because he put five Hoff badges on his or something. Uh, that being said, he's, like, a top C tier option. I'd put him by, like, Bob Serra. Jose Calderon, shout out to Calderon. Both of those go in D tier. Just offense first, pretty good. Not really good at attacking the rim. Can shoot, that's about it though. Giroux Holiday. Man, this card was good. I ran him and Fred Van Vliet forever as my point guards, like literally. So yeah, D tier. Big Russ, this Russ sucks, like D tier. Where's the other, where's the pink diamond Russ? I know I put him somewhere. Is he? He's in this tier, right? I would assume. I think so, yeah. This Russ is, like, worse, though. I hate Kemba, dude. I'm going to put him in D tier, too. The doing Kemba challenges was infuriating. Kevin Johnson, same thing. Like, he's just super outdated. Thick boy Kyle Lowry, D tier. Kyrie. I think Kyrie's objectively the best card in C tier. You can make a case that he deserves to be in B tier. I will say that Dinwiddie, Brandon Jennings, and Kyrie Irving might all move up to B tier because I think they all kind of deserve it. This Kyrie is just outdated to put him in D. This Kyrie should be in C tier. You know what? I might have to change my rankings. Yeah. This is a good free card. We're going to move Brandon Jennings, Kyrie, and Dinwiddie up to the lower echelon of B tier. Lamelo is still good. I would say Lamelo is still deserving of B tier. Like, he's still a good card. People don't run him on current gen, but they should. 
Barbosa is decent because he has jump shot four now, so he's actually pretty good. Lonzo Ball. A. I would say Lonzo is probably the best card in A tier. Well, I would probably rank it as such. Lonzo, Ja, Stephen Curry, and Jalen Rose. Louis Dampierre. Oh, why have you forsaken me? I didn't want to have to do that, but I did. Uh, Lou Williams. Yeah, no, Lou Williams is actually C tier. He's good. Lucius Allen. Shout out to Lucius Allen. I can't tell him and Fred Brown apart. It's just the mutton chops, but still cool. Oh, other Luca. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously the best card for sure. S. Magic Johnson. Oh, man. Am I about to do the hot take of the century here? I am. Magic is A tier. I know. I know. People are not going to agree with that facet, but I think Magic brings so much length. And if you have a badged up power within Magic, I think he deserves to be A tier. The other Magic, the maxed out one, is probably down here, like lower B tier. But a fully badged up power within Magic is definitely low A tier. I know he's kind of sluggish sometimes, but Magic is nice. And people who can use Magic can use Magic. This Magic is C tier, I would say. No hot zone, so it's kind of an issue. Mark Price, shout out to Marky Mark Price. Michael Jordan, you could realistically make a case on either Michael Jordan or Luca being the better card in the game. Uh, MJ is better on current gen, Luca is better on next, so I would just put them right next to each other. Doesn't really matter. Mike Conley, yeah, Mike Conley is pretty good, C tier. Mo Money Williams, F. Nate Archibald, trash. I hate Nate Archibald. Oh, I hate this card so much. Same with Nate McMillan. Both of the Nates can go ahead and go in trash tier. I'm tired of them. Ballin' like Van Axel, which I still find is a very interesting card to shout out in a hip-hop track. Shout out to Jay-Z, I suppose, who will definitely see this video for sure. He's a big fan. Norm Nixon, D-tier. Yeah. Yuda, trash. What more can I say? Uh, big O's like D-tier. Patty Mills, I would say, is D-tier. This Patty Mills, I'm sorry, is also D-tier. Uh, Penny Hardaway is still C tier, though very, very low in the outdated but still kind of usable section. Pistol Pete Maravich. Woo, another hot take of the century here. I actually think he's like higher B tier. Pistol Pete is really, really good, I would say. He is. Big O. Oh, man, am I about to do another hot take? I am. I think Oscar Robertson is A tier. And I'd be willing to merit that he's up. I don't know how. You know what? I'm not going to rank any of the guys in A tier. I think they all deserve to be here, and it's really hard to rank them. So I'm just going to leave them as is. I might drop Jalen Rose, though, but I still think he's really good. Oscar Robertson is phenomenal. This card is ridiculous. Like, he's not that expensive. You only have to score 40 points in a single game with him, which you can do on any of the challenge games. And then you have access to one of the best point guards in the game. He's absurd. Rafer Alston. Oh, another hot take. I love hot takes, apparently. Rafer Alston is actually B tier. Yeah. This Reggie Jackson's kind of ass, but like D. Ricky Rubio is outdated. I would say D. Robert Loudpack. Robert Loudpack's pretty good. I would put him in C tier. Yeah. Ron Harper. Yeah, he's a big, big body. I put him low D tier for that. Salim Stoudemire is really good. Like, really good. He's just small. When we start to get big point guards with the uh, package of movement options that Salim Stoudemire has and jump shot, that's going to be a problem. Shout out to the receding hairline god, Scott Skiles. Top of D tier. Shea Gilgis Alexander. This one's going to be another shout too, but I think he's like low B tier. If he's badged out, which most of the time he's not when you run into him. But if he is, he's pretty good. Starberry. Shout out to you for selling affordable shoes to kids all across the U.S. I appreciate that. But uh, still F tier. We should get a better Starberry here pretty soon. Trey Young. Love Trey Young. Not even going to go ahead and get him any lower. Tyrese Halliburton, I would say, is up here with like Bonga and Bob Sura. He's just got the most irritating load up animation for his jump shot that I hate him so much. I just can't. I can't put him higher. I'm sorry. Stevie Franchise. Yeah. In the area of the down but not out like outdated cards you know what i mean same with maxi like all these guys kind of you know they were once super elite but now it's just not their time anymore and then tyus jones who i just lost um yeah i mean he's d tier he's like whatever you know what i mean 
I personally think that my list is pretty accurate. I'm sure there's going to be some contention on Jalen Rose and Magic Johnson, which you could easily take these two guys and move them down. I, I don't think I have an issue with it. I just think they bring, you know, some things to your team that the guys in B tier do not bring. Keep in mind, you can give limitless range and shaft to this power within Magic, which I have done with mine. And he still turns into like an incredible point guard. Now, that being said, I have recently thought about replacing him. I did get Oscar Robertson, so that's that's a huge, huge upgrade. But look, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I know you will. Be kind and we're cool. Um, I'll be coming out with the shooting guard and small forward tier list at some point. I'm just not entirely sure when I'm going to do that. But regardless, have a good day, you guys. I'll be live later. So peace.